So I had mini sessions lined up and senior portrait sessions and big family photo sessions. And I had to not only cancel those shoots, but refund some of the mini sessions that I had already received payment for. So basically brought it to like pretty much a complete halt. This week we're taking on quarantine with FaceTime portrait sessions. How does that even work? The wreck of a setup right now, huh? upset the world to get my monitor vertical but um, yeah we'll see how this goes so the funny thing is that after um, after years of being on a Mac I'm talking like 20 years I'm on a PC right now and I don't have any camera whatsoever hooked up to my computer so um, when it comes down to video chatting I can't actually do it on these luxurious monitors as you may have seen, a FaceTime session is basically just like it sounds. Uh, some people will take screenshots and edit those. And I took it a step further by using film to photograph my screens. It evolved and uh, let's just check out the process. And I started with uh, Kaylee, who's modeled with me, who was in my Portra 400 expired 4x5 video. And then I shot with Courtney, who I did not get much footage of on screen. But this is an evolving process and you're going to going to join me as I discover it. I had many challenges, including not actually having a webcam. Yeah, hold that. I'm going to get a few like this. This looks really good. And I'll look into, let's see. I can't do it, but the light is pretty much gone right there. Okay, here we go, hold it. Okay, let me make sure I'm good here. Okay, that's Sorry good. Sorry my hand. That looks good. Oh, and then let's see. that looks good. You know, okay. I like it. it looks kind of cinematic right here. I like that one. Okay, I'm gonna try some black and white now. Okay, that's good. I'll try another distance shoot. This time with Ariel. So we'll see how this goes. I'm gonna see how this uh, performs as a video camera. So I've got, while well, I'm figuring things out, this is the setup for now. She's going to get in touch with me on Google Duo. That's the plan. Duo is on this monitor. This completely forgot to change um, the brightness here. We'll see if, uh, it's pretty wide angles. I'm hoping that this will get me, but mostly my monitor. I preferred Skype and Google Duo, which is what I'm using here with Ariel, to photograph because I could pull it up on my monitors, which as you can see, turn vertically and get me a really nice big picture. I've solved the webcam thing, but not during these sessions. It, to take it a step further, my microphone didn't work with Ariel, so I had to type all the direction. Imagine so, that. I have my first shoots tonight, but financially I'm getting like next to nothing for those. It's more just a creative outlet and a way to connect with other people, more so than to financially provide. So, hope it goes well. I'm a little nervous. I'm gonna try and shoot from my car. So I'm nervous I might like try and shoot through the sunroof or something. It'll be hard because I won't be able to move around as much and then like yelling direction to the people from across the street. But um, I've had a few friends that are interested and um, I think it'll be fun to just capture this moment and to actually get out and do something. I have an Instagram that has my most current work at Evan and Marin. The website is just Evan Marin, no and in the middle, dot com. So Instagram and my website would be the best ways to Fine. Have you done these before? How many have you done? Are you seeking them out or are people asking you? I sought out the first three and then you asked me for this one. I've had other people ask me though because I've asked certain photographers and yeah. then they'll direct me to their friends and their friends will hit me up. Oh, so, cool. So, uh, yeah. like, ha has it been different? Like, these are the f this is the first time you've worked with the other photographers? Yes, it was. Oh, that's cool. And yeah. Were they all on, on FaceTime or did they use something else? Um, two of them were FaceTime, one of them was Google Duo. Okay. So. How was the quality on the Google thing? I thought it was fine. And the woman that I worked with on that, she's in New Delhi, so she's like 11 hours and 30 minutes. Oh, wow. Well. Um, which was crazy. So we just, yeah, like timing it out was really cool. 
we had planned out the wardrobe like the day before and she sent me some ideas and I went off of them and then built like we built like our own thing with it. Okay, it really cool. cool. It was like 80s Stranger Things themed. Nice, very nice. I like it. Could you tilt it down a little bit? Because I'm seeing right below your knees, which is fine. The balloon. I mean, if you if you want to sit down low enough. To, oh, that's nice. That looks really nice. Oh, okay. Uh, I like the light in that corner with those neutral. Oh, actually, that's kind of a nice view there too. Maybe on the edge of your bed by the by the pillows because they're nice and neutral with that really nice light. Uh, you up there, yeah, in the computer pointing at you. And like, I feel like I can prop it up on like hella pillows to like. Okay. <laughs> cool. It could possibly sit in a chair and that might work. Okay, so something like this? Okay, uh, maybe a little closer to the window. I like the I like the corner, but um, the window light's gonna be a little stronger if you're on the edge. Oh, hey, yeah, that looks good. Okay, that's nice window light. Okay, uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and I'm gonna be shooting film. I can't remember if I said, so it's a little bit slower. It takes a little longer to focus and I will try to narrate enough so you're not lost without knowing what I'm doing. And uh, I don't have my phone tripod for no reason, so... Special thanks to my patrons, which are overlaid on this section. Now kind of look out um, to the window, kind of turn your head a little bit. Oh, that's good. That's great. Isn't it cool if I, like, move? Because I'm wearing, like, a cool oh. tank top. Oh, yeah. Little... If you love stuff like this involving film and even digital photography used together, subscribe and turn on notifications. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you've tried this. All right. I think we did it. Yay! Cool. Yeah, if you want to do more sometime, if, uh, if you like how these turn out, we can definitely do that when you're able to. Oh, totally. I This was really fun. Awesome. Like, what a cool idea. Of your your socials. <laughs> okay. Um, all, you can find me at um, on Instagram, Twitter, at, um, at Alyss Pelea. So that's A-L-Y-S-S-P-E-L-A-I-A. -S -S and then you can find me under that same name on um, YouTube. Awesome. Well, I will send people your way and uh, keep it up. Uh, I'm enjoying your channel. Thank you so much. And this was so much fun. Thank you. Awesome. Oh, yeah. Thank you. I will share results soon. Thanks. Have a great day. You Bye. Bye. Yeah, I got my ring light on warm mode. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Um, I was just waiting to see what film these. I've, I'm shooting these on film. I have to narrate what I'm doing, so I don't want to leave you in, in the dark. So you sent me those were pictures you've done this way, right? Yep. Yeah, they're beautiful. Thank you. I know my graduation is currently on pause. This camera sounds kind of like it's dying sometimes when I load it, so. <laughs> I never would have done this if uh, if this didn't come up. I'm good. Cool. I'm ready when you are. All right, I'm good. See, the quality is maybe it'll catch up in a second, but that that's just part of the thing, part of the part of the whole experience. I like the feedback of of film cameras better, like the clacks and the film advancing and all that stuff. Yeah, I like that. I actually hear the picture being taken. Yeah, I like that. You're kind of on the edge of the frame. Okay. You down. can go a little bit more if you want to. Down? Yeah, down and to your right a little bit. Right there. Really close, just off frame. Oh, that's good. That's good. Good. Okay, here we go. All right. It's a wrap. Woo! Thank you. We created two kind of art. Yes. I pr I'm glad we got to work together again, even if it's a very odd way. <laughs> Yeah, as, as, as long as we know next time, that would be in person. <laughs> yes, that would be great. <laughs> I definitely like shooting with you in person, Seth. <laughs> definitely, definitely. Well, thanks for humoring me and thanks for uh, getting creative with me.
very happy with how these turned out. They embrace the grain, but I believe that's important because I, you're not going to get a really beautiful picture from this. And I really don't think that should be the point. I wanted the screen to be a part of it. I kind of like it being subtle. Like if you look at these closely, you can see uh, on top of the pixels, you also see the cursor in there or the little taskbar and shooting the ultra fine extreme black and white film at 1600, reducing the contrast, and increasing the grain and stuff like that. It just really adds to it and layers the complex situation with a complex imagery, but also to me gives a positive role for a screen that usually is associated with negativity in art. If you try this areas of concern are your monitor's refresh rate. Some of the pictures of Holly, you can see where I was shooting faster shutter speeds, I got a little out of hand and you can tell that I, I got burned by the screen refresh rate. You have to be mindful of direction, especially when I'm audio only. I could also use like reflectors, mirrors, gels, uh, soft focus filters, and so on. But I tried to reduce the amount of this because as you could see, there's already a fair amount of distortion going on in the photos. But also, I, I, it almost to me when I was doing it felt like an apology for the mashed potato or oatmeal quality of the video, especially if you look at the pictures with Holly, that video quality was terrible but I just embraced it and it's really not like myself, which I really enjoyed that about this. So I know this is a longer video than normal, but I just wanted to show you a work in progress and where I am right now. This is probably not going to be the last video about this, but I, I just wanted to throw my version of the distance portrait out there. Click the cards at the end screen to subscribe to my channel, to subscribe to Alyssa's channel, also check out the playlist of film reviews and then what YouTube deems the best fit for you among my videos. Uh, like the video, share it, and I will see you again, I think in a few days. I'm going to try. Thanks. Bye.